The Magdalen Islands are known for their beautiful landscapes and unique location. Almost 13,000 people call this archipelago home. Smack dab in the middle of the Gulf of St. Lawrence, residents rely on the sea. The two main industries are fishing and tourism. But the island life, which holds such an appeal, is also a curse. The uh, climate change has been very difficult in the last few years. In less than 10 months, two storms hit the islands, a windstorm in November, then post-tropical storm Dorian last month. Erosion, uh, un phénomène naturel. The Magdalen Islands have always been eroding, he says, except with climate change, everything is happening a lot more quickly, more violently. The islands are sinking as sea levels are rising and the ice that acts as a buffer along the coast is disappearing. Add unpredictable storms and it makes for ever shifting landscapes. We had one storm and literally it just went and we saw the erosion going so fast. We used to have about 19 meters of sand dune and in two storms, one bigger than the other, nothing. So we went from having that beautiful sand dune protection to nothing, completely naked. After Dorian, this section of a popular coastal path disintegrated. Its proximity to the island's only hospital and the downtown core worries many. Also troubling is the condition of Route 199. The road is very important because that's, uh, like I said, it's the link to the, all the, the, islands of the, uh, the village of the islands. It also connects residents with electricity. I'm on Chemin des Chalets, a popular place for cottages. Now this street used to go straight through there, but now there's a cottage here. When Dorian hit, the waters swept it onto the road. Now the municipality is saying people can no longer stay here. Dozens of cottages need to be moved or torn down. Yet some island residents know the risks and take them anyway. 30 years, I lost uh, 75 feet. Solomon had his cottage moved inland, away from the crumbling coast. Stay in the Magdalene is bad because we will have the place. Stay near the, the sea, it's attractive, but we have to pay for it. Residents know they're no match for an increasingly angry Mother Nature. Still, many refuse to leave the islands, an idyllic place they say will always be their home.